Hello, it's 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. Uh, we have... Uh The certificate are awarded to the participant of the training course uh, at the environment. At the height of the epidemic, the country is uh, submerged by the variant Delta in Senegal. Welcome to our newsroom. The second day of the Intermodal uh, Africa 2021 exhibition and conference began with a panel discussion. 30 world-class speakers on transport and logistics addressing current issues and challenges on global regional trade and investment. The first panel discussion has brought together African port officials, including DPCS Director General Warsama Giri and Elias Wenyo, Port Manager of Namibia, to discuss the integration of the technology and uh, automation to improve uh, productivity. DPCS General Manager presented the role of uh, DPCS, uh, which is an electronic platform that allows RC port customers to access port, air cargo terminal, port authority, as well as uh, customer services uh, online with the associated electronic payments. Uh, the goal is to reduce uh, inefficiency, increase productivity, and achieve compliance with international standards for the entire community. It was uh, a few days ago, the World Day Against Trafficking in Person, Djibouti, through the Ministry of Justice and Prison Office uh, in Charges of Human Rights, uh, the International uh, Organization for Migration jointly organized it last Monday at an, an awareness uh, raising workshop and discussions on trafficking in persons for the benefit of civil society actors uh, in Djibouti, human trafficking, or modern day slavery generally refers to the process by which uh, people are placed and or kept uh, in a situation of exploitation for economic uh, purpose. Uh, this uh, practice uh, takes various forms such as uh, sexual exploitation, forced labor or services, uh, slavery, and uh, similar practices, uh, servitude and organ removal in its extreme cases organized with the, within the framework of the project, the protection and support of victims of trafficking and other forms of abuse exploitation in Djibouti. This workshop provided an opportunity to discuss uh, the legal framework in places in the country to fight against trafficking in person, especially concerning the care of victims affected uh, to this, by this uh, phenomenon. The American ambassador Jonathan Pratt and the uh, International Organization for Migration representative Stephanie Devio uh, both stressed the importance of organizing this uh, awareness raising workshop, uh, said that uh, the international organizations uh, for migration as the main intergovernmental organization is in the file of migration, works in close collaboration with the government of uh, the Republic of Djibouti on migration issue. It should be noted that the International Organization for Migration Country Officer, uh, which accompanies the Djibouti government in many projects related to the fight against trafficking, will continue to hold other workshops related to this team. The Director of uh, Legislation and Reform is uh, at the Ministry of Justice in charge of the protection of uh, minors. Uh, Ahmed uh, Osman recalled that uh, raising awareness of civil society actors on human trafficking and discussions with uh, relevant partners, uh, the efforts to be made in order to fight against this phenomenon was uh, an imperative. The Minister of Environment Sustainable Development organized the ceremony of awarding certificate to participants of the training uh, on the implementation of uh, Annex 5 and 6 uh, of the Marpol Convention at the P People's Palace on Thursday, August 5, 2021. The convention includes uh, rules aimed at uh, minimizing uh, the pollution from ships, uh, both accidental arising from uh, routine operations, and currently has six technical annexes. The objective of this seminar is to train officials from the Ministry of Infrastructure and Equipment and the Ministry of Environment and Sustainable Development, the Minister of Communication, the Djiboutian Coast Guard, the National Djiboutian Co Navy, the National Navy, the Port Representatives, uh, 
and the Association of Fishermen, as well as the Association of Young Sailors and Civilians. This seminar aims uh, for his part, uh, the Secretary General uh, of the Ministry of uh, Environment, uh, Dini Abdullah Omar, said uh, that this seminar aims to educate uh, the public uh, and strengthen the capacity of the executive uh, of the agencies concerned and update their knowledge and create a platform for uh, interactive and create a platform for interactive discussions and exchanges of view among uh, the speakers, professionals and all participants. The Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, has signed uh, a three years uh, Three years, three million grant with the World Bank to establish an inter interregional platform for the sustainable uh, management uh, of locusts uh, and other transboundary pests. Uh, the grant is part of the phase uh, three of the World Bank's uh, Desert Locust Emergency Response Program and is expected to last until August uh, 2020, 2024. The overall objectives of the platform is to strengthen synergy, sustainable management and control of locusts and other transboundary pests in the IGAD region. The platform will be extended not only to IGAD member states and but all but to all countries affected by locusts and other transboundary pests. Uh, the operations of uh, the platform will be carried out in partnership with the Desert Locust Control Organization for Eastern Africa and the Central uh, Region. Region Locust Control Commission is uh, the interregional platform will provide an effective and well coordinated uh, early warning systems for continuous uh, intensive surveillance and monitoring of locusts and other transboundary pests, uh, locust breeding areas, uh, as well as ground and aerial control operation to detect and neutralize uh, hopper bands of adult swarms in time. This prevents the formation of the further swarms and ensures a safe application of a pesticide with the platform's management and prevention measures will be put in place rather than just the current reactive control measures. For the international scene in Senegal, an unprecedented third wave of COVID-19 in Dakar, the Delta variant is wreaking havoc, causing a large number of infections and complications in of uh, the largest uh, cemetery in the capital three times uh, as many burials are carried out every day and in the Christian cemetery the feeling is the same but the number of deaths due to the coronavirus is uh, still underestimated uh, nation nationwide nearly 60 thousand cases of coronavirus has been have been detected since the pandemic began last month so only a few positive cases were reported each day in July a daily peak of uh, 1,700 cases uh, was recorded one year after the explosions of uh, Beirut demonstration is turned in, uh, into riot uh, it was uh, with pain and anger that the Lebanese uh, commemorate the first anniversary of the explosion is uh, at the port of Beirut. Uh, near the parliament, the demonstration quickly turned into the riot. Uh, uh, police uh, fired uh, tears gas and beat uh, the demonstrators with the, uh, with the do dozens uh, were injured, according to the Red Crescent. Thousands of Lebanese gathered to pay tribute to the 214 victims of the explosions, but also to demand justice. Uh, one year after the tragedy, the investigation has not yet been completed and no one has yet been brought to trial. The ruling class is, is uh, accused of uh, doing everything possible to torpedo the investigations and avoid indictments. In Greece, uh, violent fire is still active. Uh, in Greece, the consequences of the worst 
have uh, uh, waived in over 30 years are destructive. Uh, according to the authorities, nearly 18 fires broke out in just one day. Half of them are still active in the north of uh, Athens. More than 300 people have been ev evacuated, uh, according to the firemen on the island of uh, Ivia, in the south of the country. Violent fires surrounded a dozen villages. At least uh, 150 houses have already been destroyed. Several European Union countries, including Cyprus, France, and uh, Netherlands, have sent a water bomber to Greece to fight this forest fire. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us. Uh, have a good evening.